Hey friends! Welcome back. Today we're heading to a non-fiction book, as you may have been wondering why my hair is all like this, and why I'm wearing my pajamas, because our book is just about that. Why do we need to sleep? Sleep is important because after a long, tiring day of work at school and from evening sports, our body and brain need a lot of rest. We get that rest from sleep. And then we can have enough energy and full power the next day. The second point is, we're students and we have lots of math problems and puzzles coming our way in school. We have lots of things to memorize that we study in school too. So we need to rest so that our brain can be focused on these math problems and puzzles and we'll have more memory storage. Also, if you are sick, you need lots of sleep because sleep and medicines can be a cure for sickness. And we are kids. We run a lot and play a lot. So if you have an injury, sleep can heal it. We are kids and we need to grow. But do you know that when we're sleeping, we grow bit by bit, but we just don't know it because we're asleep. So you need to sleep properly and well so that you can grow big and tall. So let's jump into the book. Our book's name is Sleeping Well, and the series name is Healthy Kids. The author's name is Sylvia Golding. The book tells about a few things for you to get a good sleep. The first thing is tidying up. It's good to tidy up right before bedtime, because if you play there in the afternoon or evening, you might just bump into things and hurt yourself. And if the room isn't comfy enough for you, ask your parents to set it to the right room temperature and tell them to comfy your bed for you to get a good night's sleep. The second point is getting ready. If you watch an exciting TV program right before bedtime, you cannot sleep well. Your mind thinks about everything you did and saw just before bed. So at least off the TV two or three hours before bedtime. And I'll share you some tips that you can use. First thing is take a nice warm bath, get into your pajamas, drink a glass of milk, brush your teeth, head for bed. Also, no chocolates or soda or hot chocolate. They all contain caffeine, which can keep you wide awake. I'll share you some more tips that will help you fall asleep. First things first, you can listen to, you can read a favorite book of yours, or you can listen to nice, quiet, gentle music. If you worry about things, start a worry diary. The worry diary helps you if you have worries. So write all your worries down in your worry diary. Close the diary, put it in the drawer, close the drawer, Get to sleep. All your worries are gone for tonight. How much hours of sleep you need? If you're a preschooler or kindergartner, you need 12 hours of sleep. I'm a second grader. I need 10 or 11 hours of sleep. If you're a 10-year-old or a middle schooler, you need 10 hours of sleep. Adults need 7 or 8 hours of sleep. And babies need 16 hours. Babies sleep part by part a day. So that's how they get up to 16 hours of sleep a day. Ooh, did I throw you? Well, that's what this chapter is about. Nightmares. Nightmares are when you have scary dreams, like being chased by monsters or being scared by your greatest fear. If you have nightmares, tell your parents about them. They can help get rid of them. I hope this video will help you a lot to get a good night's sleep. I hope you will try out these tips too. I tried them out and they really worked. Thanks for watching. Bye. I really got to get to bed.